welcome back to my channel. Yonk. We're gonna be starting off with brows. I'm using Full Roof Brow Powder by Benefit, starting off with the lighter shade in the front and then going towards the back with the darker shade. I'm using a Tarte Etch-A-Sketch brush for this, their little bamboo double-ended brush. Love it. And I'm just going to really do some light strokes. Powder is super, super easy and natural, so I wanted to do that and just start off with that. I haven't used powder in a while either, and I was a real powder girl in my MAC days, I remember. So I'm just going to fill in some sparse areas with a pomade. This is the, Keep the Cabral pomade by Benefit as well. I made a little mistake with the tweezer the other day and got a little bit of too much hair and made myself a little bald spot in my left brow. So I'm just going to really fill that in, make sure it's nice and full. And then I'm going to conceal them with Max Studio Finish Concealer in NC25. I'm using a flat brush to do this, and I'm just going to press down from the base of the brow and then kind of clean up towards the tail. I love the way this looks. Honestly, I've really fell in love with the Studio Finish Concealer again. It's so funny how that happens when you don't use something for a while and then all of a sudden start to use it. So I'm just going to blend that out my finger. The warmth of my finger really helps to press it into the skin and give it a really nice natural blend. So I'm just doing the same thing to the other eye and blending that down. Make sure it's nice and clean. Now for the base, I'm using P. Louise base. And I'm not sure of the number because I got this before it was numbered. I'm gonna guess it's two. That's my guess. Um, but I'm going to just put this all over my finger. I'm not doing anything fancy with a packing brush or, or anything. But now I'm going in with the Kabuki Doll palette by MAC from their new spring collection, Boom Boom Bloom. So pretty. I'm taking Mauvey Moves with a C512 brush from Crown. And we're just gonna go in with this shade and go into the crease area and the outer V and just kind of blend it up. This is basically going to be our transition color. This is a perfect transition color. It's perfectly neutral. It does have a, like a little tinge of pink in it, but it's really, really, really pretty for any kind of eye. It's really soft looking too, so if you wanted to wear this by itself, it would look really great. So I'm just blending that out, making sure it's nice and seamless. Give you a little close up, look how beautiful that is. And I really enjoyed that brush as well. Now taking Spice Dynasty, which is almost like a saddle color. It's a little bit more mustardy. And I'm just taking it on the outer V with an E25 from Sigma, just kind of blending that out. So it gives me a little bit of a smoky effect, but nothing too crazy. I really enjoy a nice neutral smoky eye, but this also has like a little spring tinge to it. So I really like that. Now taking Don't Be Coy. This is a beautiful shimmer. I'm using a um, Morphe flat brush for this from the Jaclyn Hill collection. I'm just packing that on. It didn't even wet this at all. Like how beautiful is that? And shimmery and just perfect. And it's just such a beautiful touch to this nice smoky eye. Now I'm going in with Dust Off, which is another frost. And now I'm going to wet the brush for this with the Fix Plus from the collection. And I'm just going to put that in the inner corner just to brighten it up a little bit. But I feel like this is the ultimate spring eye without it being pink or spring smoky eye without it being pink. You know what I mean? It's light, it's airy, it's fresh, and you still have a little bit of smokiness. I'm gonna use Kabuki Doll. This is that maroon brown color for the liner. I'm just packing it in with the Kylie Cosmetics liner brush. I'm just really packing that in. I didn't wanna do a harsh liner. I wanted it to be really, really soft, and I feel like this little maroon color looks really pretty with it. So I'm just kinda of smudging that along and blending that out. How beautiful is that color though? I'm seriously obsessed. I kinda wanna do a full on matte smoky eye with that color. I'm using Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced and just really filling those lashes up with some mascara, obviously. Sometimes the words I use, I get confused. 
I don't know. I don't know what happens, honestly. <laughs> Sorry, guys. For lashes, I'm using Gigi Bell Lashes and Gianna. You guys can get 20% off with code SUBBY. And if you guys didn't know, that is my lash line. I don't know. A lot of people say that they don't know that it is, so I just want to declare that. I love them. I'm using House of Lashes Glue, which has been my new favorite. Um, it does leave a little residue on my eyes, which is kind of annoying. So make sure you really kind of clean that off. But besides that, it's really good. Using the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Primer and putting this all over my face. And then I'm finally using the new Face Tape Foundation. I am in shade 36S and I'm using an F80 from Sigma to put this on. Absolutely love this foundation and I was really kind of shocked. I thought it was going to be super, super matte, but it's actually really more like matte satin. I wouldn't say it's a full, full on matte foundation because it does look pretty natural. It has an insane amount of coverage, which I love for my full coverage days, especially in the winter. And it blends out beautifully. It matched to me beautifully. Like I really didn't feel like I, I look too yellow because sometimes that happens with some foundations, but this really blended out so nicely and it stayed on great. Like I really have to say it was aw it's awesome. Really recommend it. I'm using the obvious Shape Tape Concealer in Medium and Light Medium Honey to highlight a little bit. And I'm using the Tarte Quickie Blending Sponge to blend this out. And I'm just pressing that in there. Gotta love a nice clean sponge. You know what I'm saying, guys? You know what I'm saying? Please clean your sponge almost. Please clean your sponge after every makeup application. I promise you, your skin will thank you. Um, but yeah, I'm just blending this out. Blending the nose area with my finger and then just blending it out with the bottom of the quickie blending sponge with no product. I'm using the Translucent Powder by Laura Mercier, but this is the Glow one. I actually didn't realize it was until I put it on. It had a serious amount of glow on it. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I probably would prefer it though all over my face and that's what I ended up doing. I kind of packed it in just to set it under eyes a little bit, but then I really ended up putting it all over the skin and just kind of packed it in there. Nothing too serious, just kind of really pressed it and then I just really love that Laura Mercier came out with this a translucent powder with a little bit of glow looks so stunning on the skin and just gives you that really natural like literal literal j-lo glow like I have to say it looked really really beautiful and you could tell on camera how beautiful it looks now I'm going to use the highlight powder by MAC this is called spring fling I'm using this as a bronzer and I'm with an F23 by Sigma, and how beautiful is that color? You could totally use it as a blush, but I felt like it had enough warmth and bronzy tones to use it as a bronzer. It has like those little gold flecks in it that makes it really super glowy. So this is just a beautiful glowy spring face. I really, really love it. I didn't really contour crazy. I just really wanted to bronze up the skin. I wanted this tutorial to be really simple. So hope you guys like it. I'm now using Floreal with an F10 and using that as a blush. This also has some pink glisten glitter in it. Nothing glittery, but like, you know, shimmery. And then I'm just going to take the sponge and kind of blend everything out. I'm using Spice Dynasty again on the lower lash line just to kind of smoke it out slightly. I just like when everything connects, especially on the under eye. Putting on some more Better Than Sex Mascara. This is Better Than Sex and Diamonds, if I didn't mention it. That's why it has that little stones in it. And then putting a little bit more of the dust off on the inner corner. So pretty. For highlighter, I'm using the Snow Angel Highlight by Kylie Cosmetics with an M501. I just felt like this was a very glowy tutorial, so I feel like this highlight just really completed it. And I go in with the blending sponge again, just to kind of really blend everything out. I didn't want everything to be too crazy. For lips, I'm using Hover, the lip pencil by MAC. I love this color. I kind of wanted to neutralize the pinks in this 
tutorial because the lips of the collection are very, very pink. So I kind of wanted it to be a little bit more of a pinky nude. So I'm using Kiss Me lipstick from the collection and just kind of pressing it on the lips, nothing crazy. And you can see it kind of neutralizes it a little bit and it's a really pretty combination. And now I'm using For the Frill of It. And this is such a beautiful, beautiful gloss. Like, oh my God, Max glosses, their lip glasses are actually insane. Like they're so stunning. The pigment in this is just so beautiful. It's like a rainbow, literally like a beautiful spring rainbow, guys, on my lips, okay? Do you feel it? Now I'm taking Max Fix Plus from the collection, just putting it all over and setting the face. And that is it, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this spring tutorial. It's one of many we will have coming up. So yeah, let me know your thoughts below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I would love to hear from you guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please, please thumbs it up and give me a little subscribe if you haven't already. And I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time.